Assalamu alaikum. Hurmatli o'quvchilar, mana bugun Sardorni tashabbusi bilan debat o'tkazamiz ikkita maktab orasida. Chap qo'lda o'tirgan o'quvchilar bu tinchlik filialining ishtirokchilari, ularda kapitan komanda Muhammad. O'ng tomonda Sergili maktabimizdan kelgan bularni komanda sardori Ahmad. Xo'p, debat bu ingliz tilida bo'ladi. Mana mavzusi yozilgan. Xo'p, debatda jura a'zolarimiz bor. Jura a'zolarimizni tanishtirib o'taman. Xo'p, juriyimiz bizani maktabni nazoratchisi Malik Sardor. Xo'p, ikkinchi juriyimiz Naimov Diyorbek, ingliz tilida o'qituvchi. Va uchinchisi men. Uchinchisi Sardor. Deyor o'zi video shu bo'ladi, belgilab beradi vazifalarni. Bo'lmasa ikkita guruhga ham komandaga omad tilayman. Haq qo'ning nimalardan so'rab qolaman. Jura a'zolaridan haq qo'ning bavolanglar va hammaga omad tilayman. Boshladik. Ladies and gentlemen, dear our determined and esteemed students and also our esteemed juries. So since we are on the brink of this uh, opening this roundtable discussion, I would like, I, I, have, I actually have some words that I wish to say to, uh, to all of the participants, right? So uh, first of all, I actually wish you the best of luck during your roundtable discussion and uh, there are these critical things that I would like to focus your attention before we delve into this roundtable discussion, okay? So, uh, every group has their own group monitor, right? So, they, they are actually responsible for the introduction of their team and every team member needs to make sure that they actually introduce themselves before they actually present their ideas on this statement. And our statement is actually the use of death penalty and this group is against or for? Against group. And this group is actually for group, right? Well, uh, as we engage in this discussion, uh, it's really important to establish some criteria, right? So the most important criteria that I would like to say is that so you will have to show respect for diversity and you will have to show respect for other team uh, against team members, okay? If, uh, if you don't have any questions, uh, you are at most welcome to ask them right now. Do you have any questions, group members? No question? Great. In that case, I wish you the best of the life and let the roundtable discussion begin. So hello everybody, my name is Abra Khojaev Ahmad Khoja, and today we are having a discussion I mean the legendary moment throughout the history of Tokyo International School and I should absolutely thank the, my opposite team for allocating and for coming, thank you very much and today we are having a discussion about the use of this penalty and we broadly agree that this penalty should be implemented because of a number of reasons which my groupmates will be mentioning for this event before starting this event, let me introduce my groupmates. My team consists of six members. Uh, Ms. Sharos, Ms. Nozma, Ms. Razbek, Mr. Kwajbek, and Mr. Najbuddin, and me. I wish you luck for opposite team and enjoy the debate. First of all, welcome everybody to our roundtable discussion, or so-called debate, and Today, my team are going to talk about the against being to sentencing people to death of their crimes. And my team consists of Miss Madina, Mr. Ibrahim, Mr. Aziz, and Mr. Rustam, and Mr. Akbar. 
and me. Uh, I wish you good luck, other team, hopefully. And let's start. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Nozmaz Ahmed Manshin. So I want to say that death penalty is only a one way to punish for those who committed such disturbing crimes. Because, you know, imagine someone killed your family member or your loved ones, you'll be very stressed and you just be very annoyed and you want to do something to that person who killed your siblings, parents, etc. So I think killing the criminal who committed such a crime is the best way to give satisfaction for those who suffer from the loss of their loved ones. So I think that's why this penalty should be applied not in our country, but also all over the world. Uh, well, I don't believe that by killing the person you will be satisfied, you won't be fulfilled. Because each of us are people and we cannot kill each other because we are equal. Um, I don't know, it's not humanist for people to kill each other for committing a sin. For example, we shouldn't take it so hard and just have a mercy for each other. What's your answer? after their statement, we should give questions, right? Mercy, So it's your first statement. As you mentioned before, that you said that criminals and the, um, innocent people are equal, but how come a um, person who killed another person um, doesn't deserve the death? Don't they deserve the equal punishment because they killed another person? Well, my name is Aziz, and I really appreciate your statement, but also I have my own statement. So, as you said at the beginning, killing someone, it also uh, affect for the uh, family. And you said that it's not a good idea to, like, still alive, and, and we should kill them, right? But I think it's not the best way to protect them, and I think it will be better to how to say, it will be better that they will go to the prison and you can also use them for workers, for government. And killing is the, not the best way to preserve this situation, I guess. he is a actually answer for the question. So, what was your name? So, Aspect, you mentioned that if somebody killed your loved one, 
and it is better for him or her to stay in prison. But have you ever experienced it and have you ever taken it personally? Let's imagine you have a kind of friend, right? Yes. He or she is really close for you and he or she gives you support all the love and compared to your parents, these benefits are better than you, even better than your parents. And suddenly he or she is died. I mean he or she is murdered. So something in your inner willing to kill him or her because of her deed, because of her or his deed that he done. So if you take it personally, something that wants the revenge will kind of overtake all your feelings. The one thing that you want, the one thing that you're gonna focus on is just to eliminate this person that you are talking. It is actually okay. But on another hand, if you look at the movies, if you look at the something like uh, uh, films that the person tries to take the re take a revenge and kill another person, he or she does it. He or she does it despite all the difficulties, despite all the barriers, and he or she doesn't hinder him or herself from nothing. Which is, even your loved one is uh, kind of dead, you are kind of inner yourself inner piece of yourself will rush to, rush to take a revenge. Thank you. I appreciate your statement, but how come if I have like the same question for you, if your best friend, for example, kills someone and government want to kill your friend, best friend, how you will react for this situation? I think it's not the best way, I guess, because uh, like killing is the not like the best way for example you also show your position for uh, children for adults and also teenagers and they will uh, take the example from your statement if you kill someone they will think that it's a good way because children cannot imagine in their age so um what do you mean by, by word like revenge revenge is not good and only only way is just um use them for workers to the government because no way if your friend like died how come you cannot like take it again or something like that but yeah of course you want to revenge you want to uh, take a revenge but how first of all you should find this person and second uh, you are going to kill this person you told me like uh, what, what should i do for example uh, like your friend uh, will die, uh, die, yes. And if you find this uh, people who kill your friend, are you going to kill him? How fun! So you mentioned that if my friend will be killed by someone, government should, should kill him. Uh, I think I would personally not get hijacked by my emotions. Like, uh, also, what if um, we will take easier grounds, for example, if you steal someone's item, should you also be killed or not? What, if, what about that? Uh, you took the question too generally. You, you only took one example, but what about other grounds? There are so many grounds. Uh, well, uh, as you mentioned before, I don't know the name of this guy, sorry, but you mentioned that uh, you won't kill your best friend because he did uh, a crime, he killed someone. And, but 
The topic is about the death penalty. You related this to friendship, uh, which is uh, like it's such a nonsense. Because, and you mentioned that other crimes, but uh, as a death penalty, you will give, uh, uh, are given to the, those who are uh, committed such as crimes, who kill the persons or do such a horrible jobs, you know? And there is a, um, you talk about uh, accepting those people as a workers for government. And I don't think so that the, those people who committed the crimes are mentally stable. They are not able to like work uh, in regular work such as builders or constructors on the Mac or let's say in the shopping malls because they are uh, mentally unhealthy. The person who committed the crime are uh, truly uh, broken uh, from his uh, uh, people are with broken mindset, I think. So there is no um, evidence to like to put those people into government work. And uh, when it comes to friends, actually, I don't think that anybody wants to be friends with the, such as a serial killers or somebody else. They, yes, there will be a uh, type of situation in which your friend uh, will, will be aware, need, need to do something such as horrible job, but it's such as, I don't know, maybe. And from uh, conscious level, logic, it's just impossible. That's all. Okay, so before I answer, that I ask, what if, if we take as example, these are crimes? Hello, as I mentioned, my name is Bahan Aziz, and as you just now said, you said what of other crimes, like stealing things and maybe robbing things, but actually in the government system, those crimes aren't counted into the death row penalty, and so you can't be sentenced to death row by stealing. You can only be sentenced to death row through like human harm, if you do abuse, if you kill someone, you can only be sentenced to death row if you cause harm to other humans. Other than that, you can never get sentenced to death row. Uh, you mentioned that it's not all prison, how can I say, punishments we should enforce death penalty. But what about if the person does something more expensive? For example, if you steal the car, you will be prison. What is this? What's the next? You mentioned specifically. Only Okay, so as mentioned in the previous argument, it said that when you harm humans, you can only be sentenced to death row. If you steal something, as I mentioned earlier, like, you can't be sentenced for stealing something. If you steal something and you're caught, all that money will be returned, so you didn't put harm towards anybody. The banks get back all their money, and uh, the person who committed the crime is just arrested and they've been in prison. They didn't commit any harm towards humans, but if they did, for example, if they robbed a bank and they maybe killed people, you know, trying to get into the vault full of cash, then they can be sentenced to death row because they killed someone and harmed people. But if not, if all they only held the people hostage, they can't be sentenced to death row because they did nothing to harm the person's health, mentally and physically. <laughs> Why do you decide to choose killing if you have another choice? I agree. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay.
I respect your um, statement or whatever, and but I have a question for you, Ramzi, or whatever your name is. Um, why killing is an option if you have other options like sentencing them to prison for like some kind of years, but like you have other options. Killing is not the best option to do in these cases. Okay, so what you just said, you just dug yourself into an even deeper hole. So you guys know, have done said, like keeping killers in prisons. And so what I would like to say about that is that death row is actually more cost efficient and space efficient. What I mean by that, it means keeping people, and uh, more specifically criminals inside a prison, that takes up money going towards their food, their electricity, their water, and building the prisons. That's a lot of money. And also space. You have to build farms to plant crops for their eating. You have to feed them to keep them for a lifetime. Even if it was like a couple months, that would have been fine. Serial killers get sentenced to like a lifetime. So you have to feed them their whole life, going all that cash in the government's pocket. And so if never was implemented, like prisons, less prisons can be made. Like. Criminals can just go to a death row, get killed in a couple days, and then they're gone. Money doesn't have to be spent on food, and by that, the government can develop. That means all the space and money that they acquired from killing people, and not holding on to people don't have, and then not holding on to people that don't even deserve the right to live anymore. They acquire money and space, which can be put towards building schools building uh, hospitals, and that can develop the community, that can develop the citizens, and that all goes towards developing the country. For instance, USA. USA implemented death row many years ago. It's been around for decades, and uh, with death row, USA has developed majority. Like, they, uh, they're one of the most developed countries in the world. Uh, through death row, they require more money and space, and so they build schools. And so that's why the USA is much more developed compared to countries like Uzbekistan, which didn't implement the death row system yet. Well, as your statement suggests, I agree that um, space and food and shelter and all that stuff is needed for prisoners, but um, since prisoners have committed crime, instead of killing them, you could use them as slaves and they can find money on their own and that causes the government some profit as well and advantages for themselves, for their food, shelter, and everything. About equality. So if we use them as slaves, where is the equality? so, uh, my name is Madina, and I'm going to give you one statement. Uh, I want to mention that people are not humans without their mistakes. So, um, so uh, nowadays, the corruption is very popular, and if we allow to um, if we allow to kill people because of their crimes, it will first of all decrease the population, and secondly, uh, some people who are blamed they can be victims of those who buy the um, I mean lowers and uh, poor people cannot allow themselves to buy uh, professional lawyers, so that's why they can be blamed for nothing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hello, I am Tarasman. Thank you for your argument. So, your argument was about first, everybody makes mistakes. So, I think uh, while giving people like criminals that sentence, their case goes through detailed, severe evaluation, which makes judges to accuse them of a highly offensive crime. So I don't think someone who commits crime by mistake gets death penalty. Secondly, uh, as you mentioned that the death penalty decreases population. I think, isn't that good if the population decreases? For example, our population has been causing many problems such as global warming and we are running out of water supplies, food supplies and many other things because of our population. So as you were saying, if the penalty decreases population, it actually works for our benefit. We will get rid of those criminal people who murder others and work for the uh, works for our harm. And next, you talked about corruption. I think imprisonment uh, includes corruption more than death sentences. For example, uh, there is a case of Junka Fruta, like a Japanese girl who gets killed by four men. And all of those men are actually now free, living among us, because they got sentences only for 20 years instead of getting death penalty. Do you think those people who tortured the young girl deserve to leave? I think there is a role of corruption in that case. Thank you so much for your attention. So I want to talk about the example which you give. Um, I think it will be better to uh, go to make them go to the prison for the whole life because in the prison they are not relaxed or um, they are not enjoy being there. They um, also tortured there. They um, they they have really a big pressure on their mental and physical health. So I think it will be better to give a whole life prison than killing someone. And also I want to mention that if uh, one person will die, like if um, one person will die, the, the others will not say, oh, he's died and I, I wouldn't do that. It's not like influence in others' um, psychology. I mean, they can do it. Nowadays, people do not care about others' death, so it wouldn't like have a big um, influence in decreasing the killing. I mean, the decreasing the crimes. Okay, so again, they're mentioning about putting them in prison, but I mentioned earlier about like uh, space efficiency and cost efficiency. And more, they said uh, prisoners can be put through mental, physical pain, they can be put through torture. But I thought y'all were the people who said human rights were something that's put into like uh, the head when they're deciding therefore or not. Like, I thought y'all were a part of. Like human rights, no making people die and stuff, uh, making them feel harm. I thought there were people who talked about that. And 
Also, you all said it doesn't have influence on other people if somebody got if somebody died from death row. But actually, there are some people that kill because they think they're not going to be sentenced to anything. They're just going to be let go. So if they see other people dying because they did crimes, they're not going to commit them. That's one of the biggest points. You can, like people have a large influence on each other. That's just one of the perks of today's world. Person, that's yeah, yeah. 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 He's hundred percent sure that he will not be prison. In this way, he wouldn't do. This. He wouldn't be. Yeah. He has a reason to do this. He has a reason to do this. He is punishable. Actually, overwhelming. He doesn't care. 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 He do
because you know it will be binded in their mind. And let's take an example of Alcapana Island. There, this island is now well known as a one of the most protected prisons in the world. But although uh, this fact, uh, they uh, there were four people who managed to escape from this, and they uh, killed serious, uh, and they became serial killers again and again. But eventually, when the death penalty was applied to them, then uh, like they, the government could mitigate the harm of, from the from those people. Okay, dear teams, I want attention. Okay, so both teams have two chances to use their same points. Okay, so you you need to give your you need to use your chances and give your same points and as many expressions as you can. And after that, that actually finishes. Use your chances wisely. Hello, my name is Damien Hagbad. And you know, we told that um, prisoners are going out of the prison, so um, there not, there's no reason that um, they could escape the prisons, the well developed prisons. But you see that um, they should be prison in the right place, that they, they should be. Um, um, they should be sentenced in the right place. For example, some years ago, you know, uh, the Napoleon, I think, from the France, um, he imprisoned some people in an island. So um, there should be some reasons to do that and just prison them somewhere. So people should create some places to um, prison and save people. But you see, but giving a death, um, death life for the prison isn't perfect because um, there are some damages for a family and, econ and an economical position for the people and for the government as well. And you see, um, when the population decreases and they, um, their population will be murdered in the prisons, the economical position of the government decreases for sure. So that means that um, the competition between the governments and between the countries will be decreased. Um, so, you know, there is no reason to escape and save them in the right place. So the government should create a right place where should they be prison, where should the robbers or in any ways should be prison, but not to the death. Also, by killing a person, you're making their family suffer also. For example, if, he, if a person has three or more uh, children, uh, they'll kind of have mental outbursts, so they'll become orphaned. And in the future, they might take revenge from the government. They, for sure, they won't be patriotic people. They won't kind of try to contribute to the government's prosperity. So that means, uh, by killing one person, you are also damaging four. They won't have their future. And I think that's not the optimal choice. Can I ask a quick, quick question? Uh, you stated that it will harm country's economy. Uh, this guy who spoke first. So, uh, how it will harm country's economy when the population decreases? I think it uh, goes all otherwise. Like it will uh, boost co uh, country's economy as the people, as there won't be overcrowding and there won't be uh, carbon emissions uh, stemming from people and you know global warming, which causes co uh, country's government spending money less and at the same time boosting its economy. So th that's my question. Um, okay, we can talk about that. But you see, there's no reason to um, to decline the uh, economical position of the government. 
because you see, for example, the Target International School, the school where people, the students come to learn, if the students, uh, students' numbers will decrease, um, the position of the school will decrease for sure. For example, the teachers won't get any salaries, any um, enough salaries for themselves, so um, they should feed their families. So there are so many reasons for that. And um, you see, we uh, we are thinking generally. Not, for example, there are, yes, the rules that you are talking about, the death penalty should be allowed to the China or for some countries, but generally talking, we should talk about other aspects as well. Because, for example, in Uzbekistan, America, there are so many people that you shouldn't provide with the death penalty to them. Because, as I mentioned earlier, the economic position will decrease. Because the, when the people are prison for some time, they'll, they'll get some time for thinking, they'll get some understanding of the world. So, um, you see, after um, be becoming an uh, understandable person in the life, they can be some businessmen, some businessmen, and they can uh, profit from the government. So, for example, Andrew Tate, you know, um, he was prisoned for no reason. Yes, there was a reason, but it wasn't so uh, good for prisoning them. But Andrew Tate is right now a billionaire, and um, he was prisoned. Um, I don't know what reason was prison, but um, you know he was uh, he read uh, five books in the prison. So you see, um, he thought about everything, what he did, what he did wrong, and wrong things he he accomplished. So um, right now he's billionaire and he's uh, he's kind of profitable um, aspect of the government. And right now he's in the Dubai, and um, you know the economical position of the Dubai is increasing. So, um, if you give some time in the prison, not the death penalty, you get some profits from them. For the family, feeding up, for the uh, governmental, economical position as well. So, this is the reason why people should get some time, not for the death penalty in the prison. receive specific uh, punishments according to the severity of them. So now we are talking about this penalty and we with our group agree that this penalty should be applied to all those crimes that deserve it. So firstly because of, uh, firstly because of this penalty is the most appropriate way of punishing someone for committing the serving crime. Secondly, uh, prisoning, imprisoning criminals actually uh, has an effect, has a negative impact on the economy of the country because prisons require shelter, food, electricity and water and etc. And next, uh, prisons actually can be a dangerous place for those, uh, dangerous places since all the types of criminals, minor criminals, major criminals can be mixed up and it also like make, uh, serve as a root of crime. Next, um, the possibility of escaping. Many criminals, many like serial killers can actually escape, like there is a high possibility of them running away from uh, running away from prisons and there is no guarantee that they won't repeat the same mistake they have committed before. And uh, lastly, uh, death sentences can actually reduce crime rates because uh, punishing criminals like ha who have uh, committed highly offensive acts is actually the greatest example illustrating the consequences of doing something uh, inhuman, inhuman, immoral and it sets a great example for those who are on their way of committing a crime because they this has a power to stop those uh, and like showing that uh, killing someone and getting engaged into a highly offensive acts is not an option for whatever reason can be behind it thank you So we are going to stop killing right now, right? And how are you going to stop killing from kill someone? You are going to kill this person, right? And how are you uh, going to 
stop this action from killing someone. It's, I think, uh, don't like relate this logic. How, kill, how are you going to kill someone from killing someone? Okay, so you're saying killing a killer is not an option. So we are all talking about reducing the number of murders, right? So how do you think without killing we can actually reduce the number? Can we, cannot we actually like frighten people a little bit, like warn them about the consequences of their acts, their like killing other people is not a good thing. How are we going, it's not possible to show them, like imprison them to, uh, imprison them to life sentences or something like this can actually not be a solution to stop them, to not encourage them, like to discourage them from committing something similar. I think killing them is actually like a warning, to warn them, to stop them. Now it's time for a statement to conclude. Summarize all of the items presented by the National Council. It's time to share the experience with all the environment issues. И тинейджеры, именно сейчас тинейджерс много делают, из-за того, что поваривают все, из-за того, что своих фрэнсов, и еще, если человек вас отдаст на улице, и начинает My name is Ibrahim and I want to talk about uh, and give the conclusion about this. And uh, uh, as we said, uh, all the information that given by us, the especially behavior in the environment, teenagers, also financial problems, pressure to the family, the all mentioned the the main purpose of this the stop killing. Our goal is to stop killing, not the connect the other killing and stop with the killing people. It's not good. And we show the example for the younger generations as the uh, killing is not good. How we can show the example to the younger generation if we kill someone by stop killing someone, stop these crimes. Can we? How we can do this? And also, let's talk about mental and moral. Uh, what we can do on this side? Uh, the pressure that gives to their families on the other side, uh, like who uh, damaged and who get the damage. And also, what about the act, the uh, death penalty, who act and see this version, they also get the mental issues about that. That, uh, that got the mental issues, it will create more problems on this case. So, behavior and environment creates the connective conclusions and also actions for this situation. So in the conclusion you can say that this is not only way option. All the all human beings should uh, bring up their behaviors and their mental issues and also all things. And uh, I can say that you can lead your rights. We are going to lead our justice. Thank you. They present a new idea, which is not good. Does it mean that you can kill more? Kill more. So it's uh, for me to ask a final question. So, very, very earlier, Almost at the beginning of the debate, you told that you gave us such an argument that we are all brothers, we are equal. But if you look at the dictionary of Cambridge, Oxford, wherever, equality means to be same. So my question is, if I if I kill two, five, uh, thousand, millions of people, doesn't mean that I equal. Doesn't mean that I'm equal. Doesn't mean that I that I can kind of consider it as just a simple capital in the society. 
does it mean that everybody should care? It should be kind of take care of me and say like, oh, uh, like have a good sense of to me, sense of uh, kind of, uh, how can I say, just have a good manner to me, uh, like when it comes to me. Does it mean that I think if I kill thousand millions people, I can consider myself as a weak? Oh, I kill millions of people. See what I mean, bro. Can I consider so? so you mentioned that they are equal okay i say you get get it wrong by equality i mean like we cannot limit our life for example by making somebody die you're gonna um putting and for his life so Everybody he has his own liberty, but that doesn't necessarily mean that she, he can do everything that he wants. By killing someone, you are kind of making yourself uh, one step, one level, or that person. Like each of us has our have our lifetime, but by killing someone, you are kind of limiting our justice. For certainly, that's my point. Thank you, dear students, for your active participation. This roundtable discussion has truly been challenging and also lots of, uh, I would say, insightful uh, information, right? So, exchanging pleasantries one another and exchanging your ideas is the best way to learn your, uh, I would say, boost your language skills, also hones your grid skill and analysis and thinking skills. And this discussion has truly, truly been, I would say, uh, full of insights. Thank you very much. At the end of this discussion, I want the group of monitors to say goodbye to other members of the team and wish uh, maybe you can maybe you have some uh, things that you'd like to wish to them you're actually at most welcome thank you thank you for your participation so, actually, guys, thank you for relocating time for such events. Uh, if we done something that you took it personally, we apologize in advance. But overall, thank you for such an incredible circumstance that we had that throughout the history of Target International School. We all thank you for being our kind of, uh, what was that, like, like opposite groups and well, having a friendly debate. And also, we are waiting you in another branch of Target. And the next time, I hope that we are gonna have the same situ uh, same events, same kind of event in our branch. Thank you. So, as always, um, you group were, um, even though like you were very active in this debate and. I have no um, like any problems with your speaking. You have no problems, and I'd love to have more debates like this one. And whoever won, um, winning is not um, the main point of debates. It's about increasing your knowledge and um, trying to improve. So thank you for coming. GG guys.
Bro, wait, this wallet is man. Can I get some? Who wanna get it? Let me get some. Come and get it. Can I get it? First come, first serve. Let me get some. First come, first serve. Can I get it? Who wanna get it? Can I get it? Come and get it now. Talk that shit. Who wanna get it? Let me get it now. Come and get it now. First come.